Hi, I'm Chase Thompson Bob with Simply Mac in Salt Lake City, Utah. I'm going to show you a quick way that you can change the resolution on your Apple TV. Now, Apple TV runs at several different resolutions. We have like 1080p, which is the highest that it can run at. We also have 720p. We have lower ones like 480p. But one of the really great things about Apple TV is since it outputs using an HDMI cable that you see right here, HDMI is actually available on a lot of different things, not just televisions, but it's also available on computer monitors. And sometimes we want to change the resolution on those. So you can see here, I'm actually connected to a Samsung computer monitor. And I'm going to change the resolution to maybe something that's a little bit more tolerable if I'm maybe from a, you know, looking at the screen from a distance. So I'm going to come over here to my settings. And we're going to come here to the audio and video category in the center. We need to go all the way to the bottom. And we have TV resolution. You'll see here it's set to auto, and that's typically where you want it. Basically what the Apple TV does is it sees what maximum resolution or what's the ideal resolution for your display or television, and it sets it to that. Now, since this is a computer monitor, I have probably a lot more choices than what you would normally see on a conventional television, but that's okay. So we have 1080p. You see we also have uh, 1280 by 1024, 720p. 768, 600, 480p, 480p, just so you know, that's kind of like DVD resolution size. Um, and then we can even go as far as uh, 640 by 480. Now, in most cases, like I said, you want to leave it on auto. That will choose the best looking resolution for the type of monitor that you have so that everything doesn't look all pixelated. But if you're far away, maybe need to see it a little bit differently, you can experiment with different resolutions. You'll notice that I have 60 hertz and I have 50 hertz. Some devices will perform better on a higher, uh, on a higher hertz, um, but that's up to you. It's all personal preference. I'm going to choose 768. And now it says, all right, this is the resolution. Things have gotten kind of considerably bigger in some cases. And in other cases, you may even notice that the screen has actually become cropped, like it's uh, you know, more of a box than a rectangle. I'm going to go ahead and just say cancel because I do want to leave my resolution on auto. I'll let the Apple TV figure it out, which is actually at 1080p 60 hertz if you were to look it up. So that's how you're going to change your television resolution. Again, for most cases, just leave it on auto. But if you need to finagle with it, it's here in the settings. Go to your audio and video and then all the way to the bottom.